we convinced IPO to support Anambra Global Pool, it says if it says, You are welcome to the news. Please listen to the end. The details below. Former Anambra State Governor Dr. Chukwe Mika Ezeife, in his interview, discusses the recent Anambra governorship election, 2023 presidential election, and how to achieve peace in Nigeria. Firstly, Ndu Anambra across the globe are very grateful to you. Elders of the state, religious leaders, and traditional rulers for your efforts at getting hype up to call off its proposed seat at home, which would have stilled the November 6, 2021 Anambra State Governorship election. What promises and compromises were made to achieve that? I am very proud of that. It is all glory to God. But I must say that I cannot take credit for what God did. I was in my office in Abuja with two good friends when two young men came in. They said they saw me at the summit we held at Rockview Hotels and decided to come and see me and discuss some very important matters. One of them, who I understand is a big trader, was in tears. He said that things were very difficult for members of IPOP. As a good number of them had lost close relations and friends, and therefore, it could be very difficult to get them to see some of the issues. I told them that there is a need to sit down to dialogue. I made efforts on Monday, November 1, where we spent three hours and again on Thursday, November 4, for two and a half hours, trying to seek a dialogue and persuade them to call off the seat at home. But you see our boys have good spirits because they eventually spent huge sums of money to advertise that they have called off the seat at home. So I am not responsible for the outcome. God gave it to us. What is your assessment of the polling process? I will tell you what I know. President Momodou Buhari insisted on fairness for the Hanambra State election. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, after discussing overnight with President Buhari, came out with a statement that the Hanambra State election would not only be transparent, but it will be embarrassingly transparent. If you followed what happened, you will see that it did not yield to any pressure to do anything short anything short of a transparent election. So I think the high neck chairman, the president, who decided to keep it clean, it is all glory to God that the election was peaceful. A question to is it fair? I pop at different times called off the every Monday seat at home, but some unknown people kept enforcing the seat at home and even attacked those that came out. But it was different in November. The call off of the seat at home was respected and voting went smoothly. What do you think accounted for the difference? I believe that God wanted the election to be non violent. If you recall, I said before the election that no drop of blood will be split and human reasoning informed my statement. The people beyond the killings in Anambra wanted to instill fear so that people will not come out and vote. Yet, the same people behind the killings 
went and recruited voters from the neighboring states to come and vote for them. The recruited voters came into Anambra on Thursday and Friday. Do you think those that recruited them brought them in to be killed and then sent back their corpses? There was no bloodshed on November 6 because the people who brought them brought them in wanted them to vote for them and not to be killed. The last time we spoke, you said, if we get the right governor in an Anambra election, we will get it right in 2023. From all indications, we got the Anambra election right. I am not a spirit, but sometimes I can make predictions. God has given us 2023. My greatest fear about the Hanambra State election was 2023 because if some people are taking it, they will make sure we, did, we don't get 2023. But since they did not take it, we have, we have now to tell Nigerians that the time for change has come. A new Nigeria is on the huffing. We are going to be president of Nigeria and speak Nigeria. There will be no retaliation. We will make sure we introduce the system that works for us to the whole of Nigeria. The system that works for us is that we have taken it that every man and woman is born equal and created equal. It is not for some people to go to school and for others not to go. We will ban Almanjiri. We will ban Oban Talakawa. God did not create anybody to accept inferiority complex. We are going to make efforts to rise up Nigeria. Nigerians already know that we can do it. How many states in Nigeria are independent of the efforts of the Igbo? Look at Abuja, Lagos, and all, the, all over the country. We practice our pride and trade and industry in the open. And you can see that many other tribes are copying us and we are happy about it. How can the state, the entire Southeast and Nigeria in general tap into the wealth of experience of governor elect Professor Chukuma Soludo for development? Our people were complaining that it did not do well for us while it was CBN governor. That is true, but he is an intellectual giant, very mature economist, very educated and very respected and connected internationally. And by the time he spends four years in office, you will see how Nigeria will be transformed, not just a number of states. Professor Soludo is not a pushover. He is a person who can convert debt into cleanliness. My greatest happiness in the Anambra state election is not because of Anambra, but because God has said yes to a new Nigeria, the kind of Nigeria he intended the country to become. This is an interview with the former governor, Chukwemeka Eseife. Please feel free to share your view with us. Thank you.